were waiting for some kind of uh, uh, solution. Right, that's right. So, Attorney Golan, if you say that there is a lot of delay, are they not able to screen those incoming migrants crossing the border for any criminal background history? Look, when I speak about delays, I speak about the delays in legal immigration. Mm -hmm. You are asking me about illegal immigration. Yes, okay. mm -hmm. to those migrants uh, speaking, crossing the border. I, I'm speaking about legal immigration, which means people who arrived here legally, either as visitors or, or students or in any other capacity, and uh, are applying for adjustment of status maybe based on an employer's petition or an spouse's petition, and they are in the system. And the system simply does not process the applications in a reasonable time. Mm -hmm. Those are people who are waiting for interviews at the immigration offices in the United States, and they are waiting and waiting and waiting. And for example, if you got a green card, a, a conditional green card, conditional residency, by marriage to a U.S. citizen, and after two years you have to apply for a removal of condition, it may take you two years mm -hmm. or more to get the interview or to get a response for your I-751 application for removal of condition. This is unreasonable. Mm -hmm. We received a question from someone when we were speaking about those people crossing the border. They said, wasn't it before an automatic expulsion of those who cross the border? What, what, this, did this ever happen before, Attorney Nolan, that they are exp expelled out of the country immediately when they cross the border yes, illegally? Under Trump, under Trump it was. Mm -hmm. Under Trump it was. Trump uh, 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 initiated a program that was called Stay in Mexico. Mm -hmm. which means if you arrived, uh, you can uh, uh, apply for political, you may apply for political asylum, but you have to wait for in Mexico for processing of your application. Mm -hmm. And, and not, they didn't let you come into the U.S. to wait in the U.S. for the processing of the application. 